Hey everyone, this is Retro Gaming Now, and we are back with a new episode of Fate. Now, it's been several years since I've played this account, but I um, was reading all of you guys' comments, and there seemed to be a pretty strong consensus that we wanted to see me finish this game, and so that's what my goal's gonna be. I'm gonna try and finish this game, get to the final boss, and keep going. Um, so this is the same character that I had in the previous game, and I don't really know what's going on, so we're just gonna take a couple seconds to try and get back t together and figure out where we are. Okay. Um, so I'm only level 10, so we're not super far in the game. Let's see what quests... Oh, so we got some spells. Let's uh, look at my um, character. Ooh, I got 37 dexterity bonus from something. So looks like I'm getting a lot of bonuses from that 14... Yeah, nice strength. So we have some buff... some... Uh, items that are giving us a lot of buffs. Um, yeah, so I'm just curious. I'm gonna see. Dungeon level 11, okay. So, we got some spells. How much magic? 53, so I knew quite a few spells. Um, yeah, so, it's been a long time, and actually just playing Hello, this music well, now, uh, hearing this, you know, hearing the music is bringing me back. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting getting this done and just keep playing. So, let me see real quick what quests we have. 12, 12, and 12. So we got three quests on level 12, so we're going to head down to dungeon level 11. Well, first I'm going to spawn some beetles. This will be over there for a while, actually. Okay, so we're going to head down to dungeon level 11. You enter the portal. Oh, you enter the portal, I remember that. And looks like this is finished. There's a fountain of healing, but I don't really need that. So we're going to head on down to level 12. Yeah, so this game, I think a lot of people have played this game. And a lot of people really enjoy it, just because, um, at least for me, you, have sprung the you know, and I've probably said all this stuff before, but at least for me, it came with a computer. It came with uh, Windows Vista, I think it was. And so that's where I got into playing this game. And I mean, you know, it's... It's pretty simple, it's not complicated, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, but there is a surprising amount of fun, you know, and I think that's part of what makes it enjoyable, is it's not a game where you, like, the graphics aren't a problem. Most people can play it on the computers. And it's just, you know, it's just good fun. There's something over here. A large chest. Alright, pick him some gold. Yeah, I definitely have a lot of good memories from playing this game. But yeah, you'll have to bear with me as I try and get back into it. Um, and learning what my character is. So, we got these frost beetles. And yeah, I have a lot of bonuses. Like, my stats are very high for somebody who's only level 10. You have to be careful though, because one thing I remember is... Those guys can run, for example, and also... The, uh, the, like, Your animal items, the animal monsters, they're smart enough to realize that they should attack me instead of attacking my summoned beings. So, yeah, let's keep going. I can't remember specifically what we need to do, but I think usually I just try and finish every, go through everything so I can get the most experience. Oh, that music, man. It really does bring me back. Okay. Is that Goblin Scout? You have sprung the trap. Okay, so... Yeah, so you can see... Ooh, I'm taking some damage there. Some enemies are smart enough to come after me. And these guys are good, but... Yeah. One of the cool things about Fate is you really don't have to um, just pick one way to play. Like, you can be a Spearman, you can have all these various um, spells if you want. You can you can play, like, you don't have to just pick one class. You can pick your put your co points wherever you want. I mean, I'll be the first to admit I don't play a lot of role-playing games. So I don't know a whole lot about how, you know, 
what's considered normal. Every time you use a small, a minor we health potion, I can't get one. Anymore. Okay, let's see what we have. What can we get rid of? Get rid of that. Pick up this unidentified Schmidar. That is one of the things, yeah, so... If you remember, any item that's in purple means it's magic. But until we identify it, we don't know what the magic is. Battle Fox. Or if I have any healing spells, that might be good to use. How long do these guys have? Three seconds, so they're about to die. So I'll heal myself a couple times. Um, while we're kind of in a break of the action. Yeah, so mono recharges. Health does not. And it might recharge really slowly, I can't remember. So, summon some more frost beetles. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well identify my items. So, oh, a Yeti. It's a good thing I didn't have those frost beetles because it wouldn't have done much. Um, so there's like all these the very, not be completed. very skill points you get, and your skill points um, control how good you are at certain things. So for magic skill points, you have the three different types of magic. Attack, defense, and charm magic, I think. And so if you have a higher, for example, charm magic, that means my identify spell is better. Um, but also, higher charm magic means these frost beetles are higher level, and they last longer. You are overburdened. All right, flawless grouper, that's right. So we have all these fish. And these fish uh, turn your pets into different... Um, different item or different monsters. So you can see right now my pet you are over is a, uh, a spider, and that's because it was a grouper. And so there's various levels of uh, yeah, various levels I think of fish. So flawless is the one we just picked up. That's the best. That turns them into the type of monster permanently. Um, and that's what mine is right now. It looks like he's not going to transform back. Ooh, there's a boss. That's probably one of the bosses we're gonna face. It's the nice thing about having those beetles, is they can just get a lot of the heavy hitting damage out of the way. But if they die, they'll be dispelled, so I gotta you keep summoning them back. The quest. Okay, so there's one quest. The Superior Axe. So I'm gonna p I usually try and pick up the uh, magic items, because those sell for the most back in town. So there's nothing over here. Nope. Okay. You have sprung the trap. Ah, cursed sword. Yes, yeah, so remember the cursed swords. Those ice beals aren't doing much with all those resistances. All right, we'll have that pet. If remember, if we cl shift click on something, the pet will pick it up. And we can actually send the pet back to town if we ever want to. But the deeper we are, uh, you are overburdened. the longer it'll take. Now all my beetles are on the other side. Okay, they just teleported over. Good. I was going to say, they're not really helping me out as they were. One of the cool things about this game is that you have these various, I suppose, classes of monsters, like goblins. When you're on the lower levels, you just see the normal goblin, the regular goblins. But as you get deeper and deeper, there's higher levels. Like you got the, uh... Got, you know, like the goblin shamans, and then... You know, goblin scouts. Like, there's like this whole hierarchy of goblins that you find. You cannot carry anymore. Probably, my pet's about to die, it looks like. So the pet can't actually die. Um, he'll take damage. And then he'll flee if he takes too much damage. But thankfully, he can't die. Bugbear, get over here. Your pet has fled. Okay, so now my pet's fleeing. So what I can do is I can send him back to town. So what I'm going to do is identify all these items. The spell could not be completed. And four percent stamina. Penalty. Yeah, so most of these are low levels like level 4, etc. So that means they're not going to be helpful. 
So we're going to take all of these, which I don't need. Let's see, how good is that? It's not going to be as good as this with a 14 dexterity bonus. Yeah, so I don't do a whole lot of damage, but I do have all these bonuses. So we're going to send him to town. Your pet has He'll sell all the items he has on him. Um, and then he'll come back and bring me the gold, and he'll also heal himself, so that's the nice thing about it. But again, I think it's 10 seconds per level of depth, um, so it really adds up quickly, especially if, as you get deeper and deeper. Um, but for now, you have triggered a trap. I think there's no problem sitting in Rigsaw as a boss. <laughs> the boss names in this game are the best. Yeah, it's just all these... Oh, my guys are just... I'm gonna stay out of the way. Because these are guys are gonna all disappear right in a row. In fact, I should probably use some attack magic. Um, but yeah. Fame is increased. Okay. You have completed a quest. All right, so there's one of my another one of my quest you items. Anyway, so what we just happened now was fame. So as you increase fame, you get more skill points. It's another way to get extra skill points. And just looking at what I have, it looks like I've put most of things into um, magic, which I think is not a bad idea. I'm actually going to save these skill points for right now and move on. And uh, yeah, so that is experience. We're getting pretty close to level up. We got one more, uh, one more, uh, item to get. Okay, I'm gonna dump all these items I don't need, so we can just throw them out. I don't know, I picked them all up. And we're only going to deal with useful items, and I'm going to, um, put these back in. I probably don't need these potions, honestly. Alright. What the heck? Spell Let's learn it. 100% attack bonus. Mm, that's not bad. Um, attack. Ooh, 7 strength. That is pretty good. But 30% magic is so much better. Yeah, we're keeping these rings. Um, real quick, as I was saying, one of the things you can do is um, you can choose to Your pet has returned. So if you have a quest item that you've got to return, you can choose, actually, if you want, to keep the item instead. Um, and if that, that would be helpful if there's... Like, the item is worth way more um, than the uh, quest is worth. The one thing about quests is you do get experience, so it has to be pretty extreme. Sometimes you will find just tremendous items that you'll want to keep. Um, but it's one of those things to always just check for. There's a fishing hole, we'll see. I might go fishing later. First, I want to finish out these quests. A trap has been sprung. Yeah, it's just such a good game. Alright, let these guys get forward. Large shield. Yeah, well, let's see what my shield's doing. Yeah, that's the 13 dexterity. Yeah, I have all these bonuses, which is going to make it pretty tough to take off any of these. So when I actually... It's time to upgrade the uh, skills, I'm going to have to be really careful. Because you don't want to take off one that gives you a bonus. So you take that off, and then once you've taken that off, you can't use the new item you just picked up. A trap has been so that's one of the, the bad things about... Uh, having all these bonuses. The, the advantage, though, is you get to do things earlier. Right, that's going to be a dead end, so we can control to sprint. As we sprint, our stamina is used up. But it'll allow us to uh, just head back. I think vitality, is that... Yeah, so that gives you your life and your stamina. Yeah, so you never need vitality. Vitality is not something that that enemy, or excuse me, weapons or armor require. But it's something that, if you don't upgrade, you will <laughs> eventually feel the effects of it. Especially if you're ever in a position where you take damage. 
But I think one of the things about um, being a magician and being able to spawn enemies or monsters, friendly monsters, is that you can really perform better if you stay away. So that's why I see these guys coming and I'll move back. So he's trying to get to me, but uh, he's not able to because my frost beetles being effective. In fact, I have 53 magic, so I think there's at least another level up that I could learn. I don't have the cursed sword um, you are overburdened. item or a spell. A trap has been sprung. But one of the problems, again, is that you can only know so many spells at once. You got to be careful. You are overburdened. Pick it up, pet. Uh, you cannot carry any more. It looks like there's a monster on the other side of there. I can see the glow. The track is full. Yeah. So really, the way again, the way the pack works, it's just how much uh, how much space you have. There's no up oh, a mimic. Just mimic. I mean, well, there's no concept of uh, um, having weight or anything like that. Yes, yeah, so these frost are doing absolutely nothing because there's 100% ice resistance. Uh, but we took it out. Yeah, the mimic's a classic enemy, just a. Um, basically, a chest that's actually an enemy. Mimics the chest. Maybe there's still gels. I mean, we're still somewhat deep. Hag. What are attacking? I guess there's a hag that I just didn't see. Yeah, some enemies can use magic. In fact, if you do it right, you can actually teach your um, pet spells, and he'll use spells. So if you have the pet transform into something that knows magic, you can do that. Ooh, there's a gargoyle. I'm going to have to hold back and use that healing charm. Your pet has fled. Alright. Try to heal my pet. Usually, if you're going to go the magic route, you'll use a group healing charm. Or he a group healing spell. Um, but those are usually inefficient. I mean, that takes a lot of mana, but not a lot of effect. Yeah, I don't know. Frost Beals are pretty good. But one issue with them is that they only do ice damage, and if you happen to be up against something that has an ice resistance, they're pretty worthless. But generally, at least the way I do is I don't usually mix um, spawned familiars, I guess. I, uh... Usually try and keep them be the same. But I'm sure you could use some strategy and find out, I don't know, the best so called familiar. Oh, and there is Night Grinder, that's probably for our last boss. You have been poisoned. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the uh I love the boss names. I think they're just so great. You have completed the quest. Alright, and there is our final quest. So I'm poisoned for 27 seconds, quite a bit actually. So what I'm going to do, since I usually try and take quests on every floor as best I can, so we're going to head back here. Oops, I'm definitely going the wrong way, I need to go around, yeah. We're going to head back over here and I will use a book of town portals to head on back to the town. And from there... Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll head back to the town so I can get some more level 13 quests and then keep going. Yeah, with this game it can be pretty tempting to move really fast. And you can go through these really fast. In fact, I have a spell. This, which uh, shows the map. It reveals the map. But the problem is you don't know where you've been. And, you know, especially if you're uh, trying to find a quest item. You, if you don't know where you've been, it's real pain if you want to get there. So, we'll use that. We're going to head back to town. You step into the portal. Okay. So, let's see the red diamonds. You have gained in experience and skill. Are the uh, 
the ones that I need to return to, and I just leveled up. So what am I going to do? 25, 23. I'm going to try and balance this out. 28. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. And this... I don't know. Charm magic is just useful in general. So we're going to do 2 there. What the heck? Let's do spear. We're using spears right now. We'll go to the healer real quick. Good day. You feel refreshed. <sighs> All right. One more. Good day. Torvis. Yeah, that's right. I remember all these. So now let's sell some items. I have many mystic items for sale. First of all, I'm curious. I don't know why I still have this. Am I ever going to use it? Six defense, I mean, 71 strength, that's a ways away. But, I mean, we're going to find these, so I might as well just sell this. Let's see if there's any new summoning spells. That's 68 magic. How much do I have now? 60, 53. My way. Alright, so that's a ways away. We don't have to buy that. There's that group healing spell I was talking about. Um, Charm Monster is a pretty fun one. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think you can hold six. Yeah, let me go to my spell book. 35, 46. So yeah, those are the frost are definitely the best ones. So we'll buy the Charm Monster one. Cause, just because it's fun. A new spell has been learned. And from there. Yeah. Okay, so now let's sell these items. Ooh, 7 magic bonus. Yeah, it's not as good as 10 dexterity. So we're gonna... Mm, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Again, there is... issue with becoming too reliant on bonuses. Like this one. 14 dexterity. I could probably get rid of this. I don't know if I'd need that still. If I find something considerably better. But it'd have to be a lot better for me to, you know, even bother. These minor mana potions are not helpful. Super ones are. But it's always good to have at least one or two mana potions in case, I don't know, things ever really go south. And of course, I keep the fishing pole with me. One nice thing is that there's no limit to uh, how much these guys can buy. That's expensive. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah, so you can sell all your stuff, especially if you find rare items. Nah, um, they'll buy it anyway. Yeah, so all these guys, if you might not have noticed, do different. And you're always sell different here. things. <laughs> we need to be here. Let's see what this guy has. Okay, so basically, you can save items in the storage trunk. Yeah. We gotta get to level 50. So let's find a, some 13 well, quests. You Take have that. Received a task. All right. A fine day. 15. No. 14. No. Okay. So that's all. So I'm actually going to save and exit, and come back. And so whenever you do this, the town resets. And so there's new items, new quests, etc. So we can actually get a quest that's helpful to us. And you're always 15, welcome no. here. <laughs> of course, sometimes it can take a while, as I've found in the past. Um, if I press R on the keyboard, I'll be running forever. It's like toggles run. I'm gonna go back over there in a minute. Good day. You have 15. received a quest. Yeah, so if you do this where you're patient and you go slowly, the game is never terribly difficult. Um, I don't know. You know, I'll be honest. I've never actually completely beaten the game legitimately. So we're going to see how that goes. So we're going to go here to Zim, the gambler. So you can... Basically, the way this works is you buy items, but you don't know what they are until you've paid for them. So the disadvantage is obviously you don't know, but the advantage is the items... Like, that costs a certain amount, but the what you get from it is so much better than what it would have been normally. Like that. 
I want to buy this, this wizard's hat. Okay, so it's one socket and 29% gold, more dual drop by enemies. It's not super good, but the defense is much better than that, and I'm going to get rid of that attack bonus. That's not helpful. So I'm going to put that on, and it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's see what else there is. Is there anything I want? I would like to get some boots. Yeah, these guys I cannot easily get rid of. <laughs> All these magic bonuses. Um, oh. Are there any spheres? It's a pull arm, because I have spear bonuses. Okay, we're going to try again. Those are expensive, aren't they? 525,000. Okay, so... Yeah. I think... We'll go ahead and do this next level, and then we'll finish the you episode the once we've done that. So we gotta... Spawn some of these beetles. Pull this out. Alright. There's one of them. <laughs> That's funny because you find it Beast Monst eating chain gloves of wealth. Because <laughs> it has the actual item on the ground. Which is strange. I don't know why it'd be identified already. I guess if I know what I'm looking for. Oop, there's a boss. I gotta pull back because these guys are gonna come after me. As the Sanguine. <laughs> the names are just so awesome. And like the random name generator for your character, that's what my character is. Dragon Flyers, Disciples, Lapis, Ring of Years. Wow, what a name. It's like, hey, what ring is that? Oh, just Dragon Flingers, Disciples, Lapis, Ring of Years. And that should be another quest, maybe? No, I probably have to defeat all the minions. So it means they're going to be over here, probably. Oh yeah, the Yetis. Yetis are not... There's a lot of guys in this choke point kind of here. And these Frostbears are not going to do much against the Yetis, if anything. I think it's got 90% ice resistance. Come on. I'm going to have to do this myself. I set that guy's right there, so I'm going to pull back. We just lost one of them. So let's send another one. There we go. There's another guy. Jack of Fiend. Okay. I think I'm going to go through here first, because it looks like it's a room. Alright. Yes, I was right. Okay, so we're going to come back around and keep on going. Let me look at my quests. Yeah, so I have to destroy some more Minotaurs. And the Nocturne Stalkers. So that's the reason that quest was not completed. Because there's still another one hiding somewhere. Ooh. This Yeti is definitely more dangerous. There's someone another beetle anyway. Um, let me see. What's my health? It's F7, so it's F9 and F7. I should heal myself. This is minor heal, yeah. I need to get greater heal at some point, but I do need 65 magic for that. Sewer rat. Summon sewer rat. There's the hags. Yeah, I was thinking, like, sewer rat, that's... not something you see this deep. These guys have a fire weakness. Yes, they do. In fact, I've got enough stamina where I can probably just run. Zombie. Town portal scroll. Nice, but probably unnecessary. I do have a couple of books, and I don't really need that. The worst thing is if you ever end up in a situation where you don't have any way to get back to town, you have to go back up. Ooh, vampires. Look at all of them. That's one of the reasons why 
it's good to at least have some magic. And also, I mean, there's certain things you just want to bring with you everywhere you go. I and mean, that's your fishing rod. And, uh, some, uh, and a town portal book. So, I mean, before you leave, I usually try and check to make sure I've got that. Okay, these guys are going to disappear. All in a row. I mean, there's the downward steps, but we're not finished with this floor yet. The trap. Another flawless grouper. Again, that's not helpful. So yeah, as far as fishing goes, the deeper you go, the better fish you find, and the better items you find in them. And one of my favorite things about this game is you can find the most ridiculous items in fish, like a battle axe. I mean, you can go to the fish, and guess what? You find a battle axe in it. <laughs> I just think that's so crazy. I just love it. I, I really do like it. Ooh, I got a... Boots on. Let's identify it. Okay, not much, but it's better than nothing, so we'll take that until we can get some, something better. We'll keep on going. Sprung the trap. I don't know. I'm kind of a completionist. I do like to have everything finished on the floor. And really, it is the safest way to progress. You get the most experience, as I mentioned earlier. You have triggered a trap. Looks like we're probably almost done with this floor. Maybe not almost. But we're getting there. Yeah, we already have two of the quests finished. And there's the other Nocturne Stalker meeting. That should finish the quest is my final quest. Right. No, still one more. Okay, so we gotta go back around to this side. Yeah, you know, this game's just, just good fun. I mean, really, it is all ages. Anyone can play this game, I think. Most people. You have sprung the trap. And, you know, I got those healing charms. I might as well use them. <clears throat> okay, so looks like we just got this little corner we gotta take out. I don't know why that fire beetle has an ice weakness. But... I don't know. I mean, it should have an ice resistance, but I guess fire resistance also makes sense. And there's no water element. There, yeah, there's various elements in this game. Firewall? I'll take that. Maybe we'll use it. There's a boss. Ooh, look at all those guys. Alright, I have got to keep on moving. Let my beetles do their work, because these guys are going to target me. If I'm care not careful, I will uh, die quickly. Like, look at that. One hit does a lot of damage. thing is, is a, uh, is a melee fighter, that's really not what my strength is. So, I mean, I can do some stuff, but, like, obviously I'm right now more magic-oriented. But we did pull it out. You cannot carry anymore. Okay, so we'll pick that up. You cannot carry anymore. Yeah, and that should be about it. So that's a pretty straightforward level. A trap has been sprung. I'm just gonna go down here and see if there's anything important, which I don't think there will be. Just a couple were bores. Nope. Alright, we're gonna head back, and these guys are disappearing. And I'm gonna need them to fight for me. But sometimes there's no shame in running. I think that you do run faster than most enemies in the game. Certainly faster than zombies. 
Yeah, it's good because my pet's on his way out. So, we're going to go to our inventory, down portal, and return you to town. Enter the portal. Alright, so I'm going to sell my items first. Well, some of them, because I think I'm full. How may I help you? That's the quest item. I don't think I need that. That's not very good. I just want to get these out of the way so I have room to pick up any reward items. Okay. Yeah, an antidote is actually one of those things I usually don't think to bring. Good day. But you, are refreshed. you can get to some enemies where they're, they'll you poison you for ten minutes. You have gained fame. Okay, my fame's increased. We could do spear skill or we could do more charm magic and I'm going to do two and two. So I think Spear is going to be our our future um, focus as far as combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat does. A fine day. Okay. So real quick, while I'm here, I might as well just see if we got some fourteen. Welcome, friend. Fifteen. Fourteen. I will take that. Quest. Okay, so now I will sell all my items. Get over there. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> uh, is there anything we could use? Let's see what shield I've got. We can get things for our pet. That's another thing. that. Mm, don't need that. Don't need that. Get out of here. We'll sell this, and we'll bring this here. Mm. This is something that maybe we could trade out. That's a 14 shield. This is a 21 shield. We'll buy this and see. Mm, I don't know. 16 strength. We're going to take that. Get out of here. And the vitality bonus. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think we're going to end that there. This is Retro Gaming Now playing Fate. Um, coming back after a long hiatus. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, in the next video, I think we're going to fish a little bit, since that's something we didn't do, and we're going to come on back. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys have a great day.